This video is going to give you a quick overview of the new Roland Duo Capture EX sound interfaces that we've got in the audio recording labs here at Swinburne. These units replace the old Behringer mixing decks and they should give much better sound quality and be a lot more straightforward to use. Basically all you need to worry about is that you've got something plugged into input 1, generally your microphone, and then you go in and tweak the sensitivity level on that particular input until you're happy with it. You can also of course adjust the output to increase the volume or decrease the volume in your headphones. That's pretty much all you need to adjust, just the input sensitivity and how loud it's playing through your headphones and then you'd start recording. There are a couple of things you may need to check on the back of the device in case someone's been messing around with it. The first thing is on the top right, you've got a power button, ensure this is switched on. In terms of phantom power, that should be set to plus 48 volts. The inst section should be set to low Z. The computer section should be set to 44.1 for most audio work, potentially 48 if you're doing some work for video. The direct monitor should be set to mono, and that's pretty much all you need to worry about. The unit does allow for battery power, but that's not necessary in the audio studios, and it doesn't need the DC in to be connected to power either. If you are running dual input sources, if you're running a mic into input 1 and input 2, you will need to set up a stereo recording session rather than a mono recording session, which you'd normally use. So in Adobe Audition, whether it be a waveform view or a multi-track view, ensure that you're in stereo and input 1 will go into the left channel, input 2 will go into the right channel. This allows you to have more control over your audio sources at the end of the day. You can go back and tweak everything in the left channel to just control microphone 1, or tweak everything in the right channel to just control microphone 2. If you have done a stereo recording, you can mix the sound down into a mono track just by pressing the F11 key and switching the sound mode to mono, and that will take the stereo left and right channels and mix them into one stream.